Hello, Jade here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to make raw cauliflower sweet and sour wings. Now I put these a while ago on Instagram and people were saying, oh my god, tell me how to make it. And I promised a video and life gets in the way. Anyway, let's do this. Okay, I love this. This is one of my favorite raw dishes. It takes a little bit of time, but once you've thrown everything together, it's actually quite easy. And like everything with a dehydrator, it takes a bit of time. Now, if you don't have a dehydrator, you can use an oven. Just keep it at um, 115 degrees, but keep the door ajar. That way you don't, it, the oven doesn't actually get too hot. I can't guarantee it'll be 100% raw, but if you're not totally pedantic on rawsomeness, this will be fine. Alternatively, you can also just bake this in the oven. It's up to you. But I am making this raw because at this point in time in my life, I am trying to eat 100% raw. Well, let's say 99% because I'll never be raw enough for most people in the raw movement. Okay, let's get this happening. So as you can see, I have a ton of cauliflower. I cut up three heads. The heads were about the size of my head and just put them into little pieces like this, little flowerettes and they're ready to go. Okay, now you can see here I've got sun-dried tomatoes and I've got about six of these. They're quite small, the ones here in Vietnam. So I've got six, maybe eight. I'm not sure, I just grabbed a heap and put them in. So six to eight, depending on size. And I've also got six medjool dates, which will go into the blender. Now, you can see I've got a heap of tomatoes here. And if you have a look, I've pulled out the center, the juice, the pulp, whatever you want to call it. I've pulled all that out. So that will go into the blender. I have a bowl full of fresh diced pineapple. If you can't get fresh in your country, don't have a stress. Get yourself canned. Get whatever you can to be as raw as possible and healthy as possible, but don't stress yourself out. Ultimately, yes, raw is best, but people want to make things and they say, oh, I haven't got that. Well, if you're not totally pedantic, just do what you have to do. So that works out to be, I reckon, about a cup and a half of pineapple. Now, I have a whole lime. Now, for those who've been following me for a long time, you know I put lime or lemon into most of my mixtures whole. I don't get into the juice side of things. I like it in there. I like to get um, make my meals as alkalizing as possible. But if you're a bit paranoid about having that much lemon or lime, just squeeze the juice out. Now, I have one and a half chilies. These are the long ones. You can have the little small ones which are too super hot for me. These are just right for me, I, I'm hoping. Now I'm gonna start with one and I've got the half there if I need it. I'm not sure about how much flavor. Always start slowly when you're adding heat because it's easy to add more, but once it's there, you cannot get rid of it. One little shallot. These are little purple shallots. I love these. You can use green onions or you could use onion flakes. It's up to you. I have a thumb of ginger. Oh, is anything better than that? It is so very delicious. Also have a clove of garlic, which I've just thrown in there. And then, of course, my medjool dates and sun-dried tomatoes, which will go in there. Now, this is all in the blender, and I'm going to blend it all up, and we've got our sauce ready to go on our wings. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so this is what the sauce looks like. You can see it's a beautiful red sauce. Oh, delightful. So I just pour that into a bowl, like so. Now I do do this regularly. I scratch stuff out with my hands. I am not the cleanest cook in the world. Um, I just, that's what it is. So then I add my little cauliflower bits and pieces. So I'm doing now. And slowly, but surely, add them. 
onto my dehydrator tray, which I have here, which I am adding on to my tray, which is great. I'll tell you why I love these, because there's something meaty. Now, I'm not a meat eater. I haven't eaten meat in over four years. Um, but there's still something about the texture of having something meaty around dinner time where you feel like you're having a meal. And look, for years and years, we've all had proper meals. And, you know, we want to have proper meals. All of a sudden, you go into this raw lifestyle. And I love having big salads for dinner more than anything in the world. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes I just want to have a meal and I feel so happy and I'm eating it. I'm just like, oh my God, this is making me so happy. And when I'm happy, I'm more likely to stick to what I'm doing. And that to me is more important than anything else, more important than perfection, more important than, oh my God, dehydrating food can be a little bit... Um, dehydrating of course it's going to be de more dehydrating than having a watermelon or having cucumber or lettuce or something like that that's why i always have a beautiful salad on the side we get that but the thing is from all of my life i have eaten cooked food and this isn't cooked this is raw and i still like to have meals and staying on track is paramount now I have run social media forums with many people on it and I've seen people fail over and over and I've failed over and over on a raw vegan diet. It's a very hard lifestyle, long term to sustain. I sustained it for nearly two years. I fell off um, for about four or five months and I got myself back on. And I declared when I came off that I was never going to be raw again. And that was because it was very hard. I was traveling. I couldn't I didn't have a dehydrator. I have bought one now whilst I'm living in Vietnam. I didn't have access to these things and I was feeling miserable. I was, you know, I was high and sick. I'm not eating my proper, having my proper food, how I was used to eating raw. But now I've got my dehydrator back again. I'm just like, oh. And I only have dehydrated meals probably twice a week. But it's just enough to keep me raw now i don't have an expensive dehydrator here because that's probably the next question people will ask me i think i paid like 40 bucks for it i do have an excalibur dehydrator at home and yes they are brilliant i highly recommend them um it is a better dehydrator than my cheap one however this does the job if you do not have excess money don't think oh my god raw is going to be so expensive go and buy yourself a cheap one and it'll do the job and it will help you sustain raw look if all of a sudden you make these wings or you make my raw tacos or you make whatever raw dehydrated meal that you can see on the net you are going to feel happier about this lifestyle especially when you're starting out and you're getting raw vegan uh, getting raw vegan you're getting cravings and you will have cooked food cravings that's just part and parcel of being on this lifestyle i didn't find it as i didn't find it that hard coming back um, because i knew how bad i felt and i knew what to expect but you have to remember i'd had a lot of months years under my belt i had set strong foundations in the past so basically it was like i just went on a holiday ran a mark and went back to where i was but for people who are new to this lifestyle it is hard and i i know people crave food so you make something like this and you were just going to say wow this has just brought raw vegan living to the next life's next level so I'm going to make the rest of these up and then I'm going to show you what's next. Stay tuned. So here you have it. They're all dressed. I've got three trays of them. And one, just in case you don't believe me, three trays. So I've got three trays and in here I have some black and some white sesame seeds. And I just simply put them over the top. I've got about a tablespoon and a half. Of sesame seeds which you won't end up consuming that many anyway because a lot will just fall on the ground if you want to keep this overt fat free obviously don't put the sesame seeds on I like them on 
really for a cosmetic reasons. Um, sesame seeds just make everything look good. If you want to make a beautiful Instagram picture, put sesame seeds on it. Simple as that. Especially if you're making Asian-y style food, it just looks amazing when you've got sesame seeds. I know when I scroll through Instagram and I'm looking at hashtags, when I see those sesame seeds, oh, what have they made? Can I make that? So that's something definitely to do. Anyway, so you put the sesame seeds on. They are going to go into the dehydrator. In an Excalibur, I would say they would be in there for 12 to 14 hours at 115 degrees. My dehydrator is a little bit slower. So mine will be about 24 hours, nonetheless. Anyhow, you put them in the dehydrator, then you serve them up with a salad of choice and garnish them with some green onions and some cilantro. Serve with a delicious sauce on the side. I like it with a, um, a raw sour cream, but you can make it with whatever sauce you feel suits you or tickles your fancy. <laughs> Anyhow, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below and most importantly, love life, live free and be kind to you.